Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop. We talk about the latest in sports and pop culture. I'm with your boy Latrell. Yeah, yeah. Lego. Now, when Ronda Rousey decided to leave the UFC, many thought it would lead to fewer injuries. Not the case. While filming the Fox hit show 911, she was attempting to slam a door and accidentally caught her finger in the door. It's a little graphic. Man, that is rough. I mean, like, her finger looks like one of those corkscrews that you put in a bottle of wine when you're about to open it, and it just kind of keeps going around and around and around, and then pop. Whew. I mean, she got that look on her face just like, why did I sign up for this? I'm the type of person where I love, like, like horror movies and stuff like that and gory movies, but when you in a hospital and I just see it like that, like, oh, that just hurts with my stomach. Her fingernails are pretty clean, though. <laughs> It looks, it looks like almost like the bone is disconnected or like it was rolling off of like the meat and chunk and muscles were just rolling off the bone. It's just... Uh. And it's crazy because I, I almost feel like that's probably worse than any UFC injury she's ever had. She gangsta though because she finished her scene yeah, with, yeah, her, yeah. with her finger like that, right? Yeah, she finished the scene. Not too many people would actually do that. Hey, Rhonda, get well soon. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. And for all you out there who are into really healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle, you might want to be careful the next time you open up a box of salad. It's literally alive. <laughs> a frog is not something you would ever imagine finding while unpacking groceries. Carly Allen was making dinner with her family when her brother noticed the frog. And my brother looks at her and goes, Mom, why is there a frog in the salad? Did you think your brother was kidding? Oh, 100%. Carly went to investigate. Holy moly, this is, this is happening. <laughs> How old is this woman? They plan to return the container of Simple Truth Organic Lettuce and the frog, but to their surprise, it escaped overnight. How do you let the frog escape overnight? Wait, and first of all, how did you like wait a whole night to return the salad? That's another thank you for saying that. Why did you not immediately turn around and go back to the store with your receipt and say, yo, there's a live animal in my food. Roundy's Pick and Save's parent company sent us this statement. Although rare, from time to time, we do see insects and other small animals, such as frogs, make it through packaging and fresh produce items. What you mean these situations happen from time to time? So from time to time, when I go get a salad from Pick and Save from your company, I should just, from time to time, expect like a frog, snakes, like caterpillars. Like, like what, you, what you mean these situations happen from time to time where live frogs just get in a packaged container of salad? And the fact they said sometimes frogs, this is the <laughs> first time I've ever heard of a frog. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. When they start saying stuff like, oh, and sometimes frogs, this ain't the first time this has happened, okay? Yeah. Like y'all got a problem. I don't know what's going on over there. There's gotta be a better way than to have live frogs up in the salad, that's all. Still hard for Carly to think about eating salad anytime soon. This is in a box of lettuce that's supposed to be triple washed and organic and healthy. What the hell is going on in this household? Well, for one, you should be washing your damn salad anyway. Care how many times it said it's been washed on that bag <laughs> or on that box, you take it out and you rewash it again. No. Nah. Hey, hey, you said you want to eat organic? No. Nah. This organic, all right? It's, it's hey. to the point when you're going to go to a pick and save, you're going to pick up something extra with your food, too. And in this episode of Booty Calls Gone Wrong, apparently a Woodbury, New Jersey woman came over to a guy's house for some late night sex and uh, she called him, texted him numerous times. He didn't pick up. He fell asleep. So what did she do? She didn't just go home. She didn't say, hey, you know what? There's always tomorrow. No, she proceeded to burn down the house. The story also says that around 4 a.m., she went to a local gas station to pick up a lighter fluid and matches. Now, if you're that gas station attendant, how is that not a red flag? How is that an alarm that a woman, an angry woman at that, comes to the gas station at 4 a.m. It's like, yeah, let me get some uh, uh, lighter fluids and matches. She taking a gangster ass. I know, right? She said. I headshot, mugshot. She said, I don't care. I burnt down the house. What's really good, though? Huh? Yay, yay, Woodbury. Well, you know, it's a gangster mugshot, though. You know, she got her head stood up like, yeah, so what? I mean, it's just not that serious. Like, it ain't we, never that like we've all been there. We're like, you're going to have a late night rendezvous and the person falls asleep. Like, look, like, you know, you just burned down a man's house. But look how she looking. It's like no remorse there. It's like, 
And apparently the text messages from this woman got pretty real and maybe even kind of literal. I see you wanna die. Now to me, that's some incriminating text message. When he says, I see you wanna die and you lit the house on fire, like you might be able to get a manslaughter charge up in there. And then for you to say, I see you wanna die because he didn't reply back to your text messages or answer one of your phone calls, you got issues. And, and apparently the man whose house got burned down told the police she was a side chick whom he'd been having a sexual relationship with. Bro, y'all gotta choose a side chick more wisely. And also, I wanna know what the main chick's reaction was when she got down to the burned down house. Like you cheated on her and you got the house burned down? Bruh, you taking hella L's. And apparently this isn't the first time that this happened in Woodbury, New Jersey. Apparently back in April, the same thing went down under slightly different circumstances. So apparently this woman was going over to have a threesome with her boyfriend and she got really mad when uh, she got asked to leave but the boyfriend asked the other chick to stay. So she proceeded to burn down the house. And on top of that, she bought the lighter fluid and the matches from the same gas station down the street. Bro, that guy needs to get fired. For real, he needs to be fired for real. Like that happened twice on your watch, my dude. And within, within the same six month period. So yes. that means you in the same quarter of your year and you, you did it twice. The guys are to blame for some of this too. It's like, dude, you can't, nah. you can't tell your girlfriend to leave when you're having a threesome, you have another chick staying over there and not expect some negative consequences. That is true. Like, like I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying like the house can go burn down, that is true. but maybe your tires are gonna be slashed. She might put like sugar in your gas tank. Like there are gonna be some negative repercussions. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. Everyone knows Twista, he raps really fast, even has a couple records under his belt. So, you know, to make sure that the hearing impaired people can get the full effect of the show, he has a sign language interpreter. She is going hard in the paint. Uh, uh, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. The crowd, the crowd's getting hyped. Yeah. But, 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 but dude, that's, yeah. wild. that's wild though. Cause like every time you say in Prada and Gucci, like I promise you there is not a word for Prada and Gucci in sign language. So she's got to spell out like P-R-A-D-A. -A. Like every time you sing it in like an eighth of a second, she's got to do it an eighth of a second too. And then when you're saying Gucci, it's like G-U-C-C-I. Dude, that takes some talent. And I promise you, this woman does not know all of Twista's lyrics. So like she's like sign language freestyling on the spot. Think about it. Like, do we know what he says? No, and no. You know, to be honest with you, I'm a big fan of Twisted. I heard a lot of his songs. If you was like, here's a million dollars right now to recite to me 10 lines that Twisted said, I can't do that. Like, like I feel like Twisted, we just kind of give him the benefit of the doubt. We're like, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that, that, exactly. like, five, like 10 seconds later, we're like, yeah, yeah, that, that rhymed. Oh, that's what he was saying with that one song from Coach Carter. Yo, that's the show. Thanks for watching Pick and Pop. Latrell, thanks for being here. Hey, make sure to share, like, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Until later. Hit that like button. Come on. Like it. Come on. Subscribe. You know you want to. Yeah. Yeah. You know you want to.